Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. Today we are going to continue with our Nico Queen Ring System video series. So today is day three. That's three days since the eggs have been laid. So we need to prepare our cell starter. Let me show you what mine looks like. Okay, so mine is a, a biframe nuke that I built. Um, I left it extra tall so I could put screens in the bottom on both sides. I have a lid that fits extra well with an extra little lip on it. And then how I set this up before I, I go to my hive to, to build my starter is I have four frames in here of just random honey or uh, drawn comb or whatever to, re to space holders to replace to replace the four frames that I'm going to pull out to make my cell starter. Now also in the bottom of the cell starter I have a little clear plastic tub that I have used some good double stick tape to stick it to the bottom and I have a washcloth in it. I also have a, a really small hole drilled in the side of my uh, of my box. I have a really small hole drilled in the side of my box that I can put um, a hypodermic needle in there and continually add water as as the bees are in in here for three days they're going to need more water than I can store up for them so okay so here we are at the hive I'm gonna remove my honey super and I'm just gonna remove four frames of uh, out of the, out of this second box that I have set up I know that that there won't be any eggs in there that are the right age for the bees to make an emergency queen out of so I will uh, I'll look for, for a frame that's heavy with pollen uh, and put it in and I'm just gonna put four in and that will leave me some space in the center to put my graft frame in tomorrow so let's get started Okay, so I'm looking for brood and pollen and uh, a, a queen cell or a queen cup just in case I missed it. So here's a little bit of burr comb. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it off. And there's some emerging brood in here. Looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and put this frame in. Okay, so I have a queen cup here. It's empty, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, and remove it. All right. Once again, emerging brood. I'll take that one. A nice frame of emerging brood and some nectar. I'll take that one. Now I need a frame with some pollen. I want to try and find the frame with the most pollen on it that I can find. Okay, so this frame has some pollen and nectar in it, some honey. We'll put that in the middle. We want the pollen as close to our graph frame as we can get. I'm just going to go ahead and space these into the center. leaving the extra space on the outside edge equally. Now I'm going to give it a couple extra frames of bees, a few shakes of bees. And then I'll fill this space back up with my space keepers. I'll put my honey super back on.
put my lid back on. And I'm going to move my cell starter away in the shade for half an hour or so, let the bees settle down. And then I'll brush any remaining bees that are on the outside off. I'll strap it up good and then I'll take it inside my home um, and, uh, and keep a good close eye on the water level there. And the temperature is really stable there and I found that I have better success getting the cells started if I can just, if the bees don't have to uh, constantly be worrying with changing temperature. If it's steady, it seems to help out real well. Well, that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.